Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this we are going to talk about Nest.js with uh, integration of Auth0. So first of all uh, Auth0 term might be new for some of the developers. First let's try to clarify what is Auth0 and why I'm talking about integration with Auth0. So you might be heard about Firebase Auth or authentication with the Google, authentication with the social profile, all those things, SSO, login and all. So Auth0 is from Okta and it provides the authentication suite. So there are two options. Either let's say I'm building this Nest.js application. What I can do? I can build my own authentication logic here inside this Nest.js application. I build the login, sign up and all those things. And what happens is the user from the UI application, UI application will hit the APIs directly here. Okay, just like login, register. And in this, this Nest.js API will give you the token and the same token you will be passing again to the protected APIs. Now how you are going to manage the session between your uh, client application and your Nest.js, Nest.js is APIs. So this is server side. This is your client side. What happens is you do the login, you got the token. Now you will send the token in your protected APIs and this is how things will work. That is when you have authentication created in Nest.js. You have in-house authentication mechanism. But do we need it? I mean, just like for POC applications, that is fine. But when you are building any product, you should always externalize the authentication into third party provider. I mean, there are many advantages of it. It depends on either you are building an end user application like Swiggy, Uber Eats, any kind of a shopping a cart application like Mintra or any of these product. They are user facing product. But when you are building any B2B product where your product is being used by another companies, another client and customer. Because they have their own login system and they want, they don't want to just create a sign up on this uh, another application and then they want to use your interface. What they do, they also always want SSO configured. So if you are doing every authentication here, then think about the scalability because tomorrow um, you need to support the SSO, SSO login for the clients and customers. So can you manage that in your Nest.js APIs? For simple login, register, POC, demo, that is fine. But for large scale, no. So what happens is we externalize all those things to Auth0. It is same as the Firebase Auth, Okta. Now Auth0 is under Okta. It provides the authentication suite. That means the whole user management will be owned by Auth0. You don't need to manage the users in your own application. The all the, the login and sign up will happen through Auth0. What happens is you will do the login through your Next.js or React app to the Auth0. Auth0 will give you the token. And now you will be talking to your APIs through that token only. Okay. Your communication to your APIs will be happening through token REST. You don't know Auth0. Next.js doesn't know Auth0. Only uh, is you got the token. Now you need to tell your Auth0 APIs, okay, I have the token, let me access the APIs. But now another important question is, how Auth0 knows that your API is valid and API has been created for that dedicated tenant or dedicated application? Maybe your token may be valid, but not created by Auth0 for this application. So how can we do the integration of Nest.js with Auth0? What happens is when you do the login, you got the token. Now you will carry that token through the APIs to the Nest.js backend API like Express or Nest.js. Now Nest.js or this Express backend needs to validate. Okay. Is your token valid? Then you need to talk to Auth0. You need to say, okay, sir, I have this token. Is it valid? Is it created by you? Is it valid? Is it not expired? Is it uh, created by your entity? All those validations will be done by Nest.js by talking to Auth0. If all good, yes, you can access the APIs. So this is what Nest.js yes, with Auth0 integration. It can be simple express. Consi is, mostly it is considered as a simple middleware. Okay, let's talk about what that middleware is. Okay, so here I have created a middleware. That middleware will take, check. Okay, are you passing me the header? Inside the headers, we are passing this bearer token. In the authorization header, there should be a bearer token we should be passing. Now, I mean, how you manage the session between your client and the Nest.js yes, can be cookies based or token based. 
somehow you need to send a token to the nest js either through the cookies either through a external simple authorization header right that's on you how you want to send it but once you receive it you need to validate so validation will be done against that auth0 account okay the user is valid the auth0 token is valid and it's created by this auth0 only okay then allow user to access the apis this is the whole flow this is called the integration and why should we use auth0 this firebase auth an external provider because when you are doing a integrations like a sso so let's let's see how this auth0 looks like so this is my auth0 profile i will also show you how i am configuring configuring this auth0 on the front end application like next js or react here we are creating application so what i will do is i can just create a simple create application like here i, I just created this application udemy.com it will give me the client id and the client secret you just need to configure this on your front end application and that will take care the whole authentication flow i mean because the authentication is done through auth0 it will redirect you to the auth0 login screen then you will enter the login password it will accept you when you to the consent it will redirect you to your client side route this is how what happens when you uh, log in with the google log in with the facebook and twitter this is what happens so the flow is simple so when you write a code for this next js react app it will give you the client id because you got the client id from here you will configure the client id with the next uh, with the auth0 sdk so it will have a client id okay now it will give you one button log in with auth0 and then auth0 will redirect you to its own ui page okay and you will enter username password and the you you can do the login with the google login with the facebook or login with the twitter or you might have a username password so you will do the login based on that once you do the login you will be redirected back so this is how it happens auth0 will check the credentials if everything is good auth0 will redirect you to your ui route where you will say okay user session exist i am logged in and you will also get the access token provided by auth0 now as you are already logged in and you got the token now you can start playing with the apis and that we that is the integration we are going to do i was saying why you need auth0 i mean for simple applications you can build in house authentication but for enterprise connections like you want uh, to allow users to log in with the azure account google workspace account or you want to have sso saml integrations then you should use external authentication provider like it has integration with adfs azure ad google workspace and these are the social authentication provider you can also integrate with the social authentication provider like uh, login with the google login with the facebook and all the options are available here you can see so all these will be managed centrally you don't need to configure the google github separately you just configure them together here and then for this application you will enable them so here let's say i am using this application and here you will enable the connections okay what all different connections i want i can also enable the this google auth so when you see the login screen of auth0 you can also do the login with the google we will see that in the demo uh, how it really works but this is all about like some small glimpse about auth0 when you want to externalize your authentication either use the firebase auth0 or auth0 is really very popular and i'm using it since like 5 6 years for my uh brand applications so i don't need to write authentication logic and you don't need to i mean you cannot manage all the different kind of authentication on your code you can just do a simply simply username password or just a passport based login where you can allow user to log in with the google facebook twitter that's it nothing more than that you cannot configure the sso saml and all those things so you should be dependent on this auth0 and you can learn it there is nothing wrong in learning auth provider it is really very powerful and uh, we are going to talk about authentication and authorization with auth0 in this session 